Hi everyone, it's uh, Thursday the 24th of February 2011, it's a very mild day here and I've had the antennas down and put up a new dual band 2m 77 Yagi you can see in the middle of the picture there just above the 10m beam and just below the MQ2 for purists amongst you, yes, it, they are very close together but I didn't have the time to uh, space them out on, on the mast Initial findings are that VSWR on all those antennas is uh, fine and uh, the fact that they're fairly close together doesn't seem to be an issue. So the antenna itself is a 5 element on 2 meter, 8 element on 70 centimeter dual band Yagi. And I purchased that from urbasket.eu seller on eBay and the antenna took about 5 days to arrive. I believe it is constructed and comes from Poland and um, arrived well packaged and took about 20 minutes to construct. There are no instructions with it but the seller has clearly labelled each element to a corresponding hole on, on the boom and uh, colour coded between the different, uh, different bands so that made it nice and simple. It's a single feed so you effectively just feed the 2 meter element and I think the rest of it is uh, uh, electrically inducted or is it parasitic induction for um, getting it to uh, to radiate and effectively operate on 70 sems. The aerial took about 20 minutes to construct. I put it together in my uh, lounge yesterday evening and the tools you'll need for that is either something like an 8mm spanner if I remember rightly or a pair of pliers and a Phillips screwdriver. The rest of it is all pretty simple to uh, to do. Each end of each element has a little weather cap on it as well, which is supplied by uh, by the seller. Uh, there's a two, I think it's a two-inch U-clamp uh, bracket, the centre of the antenna, and uh, that pretty much is is it. Um, the cost of the aerial was 49.99 with 12 pound postage, and I believe he does a smaller version, which is something like a five element on 70, and I think it's a three element on two. So there you go, dual band Yagi purchased uh, recently on eBay from urbasket.eu initial findings good SWR I can hear beacons I can get into repeaters although I'm cross polarized because that's mounted horizontally uh, polarized uh, all in all very realistically priced and well made antenna so that's the dual band Yagi uh, up at the QTH here and uh, looking forward to uh, working some stations on uh, 2 and 70. And the feed point by the way is an SO239 not an N uh, connector. This one's fed by Westflex 103. All the best and thanks for looking.